For this kickoff from Septian. What was this 10 town to 7. Limit. This town limit, 51,000 plus. Complete sellout. And they've already sold out a game later this year. That's when Pittsburgh comes here in two weeks. Here's Septian kicking off. Willard Harrell over there zeroing in on it. He's out to the 20. Harrell is going to make it to the 24-yard line. Boy, do they cover. Those Cowboys cover on kicks and punts. And Redskins, Cowboys, and a couple of others are the best at that. Maybe Pittsburgh should be in that group, too. The guy that did cover on that play was Doug Cosby, that third-round draft pick we've heard so much about out of Santa Clara. We'll have to get a collar and a leash for him. He's been hitting people all day. How many players have come out of Santa Clara? Look at the first half. Hart with only 37 yards. That's well below what you'd expect for him. An unselfish quarterback doesn't worry about the stats in that first opening game either. So from the 24-yard line, the Cardinals with a football, down by three points. Otis Anderson and Wayne Morris are the running backs. Al Chandler's back in there, tight end. Here comes Anderson. And just like that, he's out to the 30-yard line, and he picked up where he left off. Cliff Harris had to make the stop with Didi, Didi uh, Lewis. Now watch this. Now number 32 runs where, look at this trap block by Young on Brunig. And the trouble is that number 32 will start to run wherever the open country is, and that's pretty scary, I'm telling you. 216 yards. Well, we have a man shaken up for Dallas. That's Dave Stalls, the defensive tackle out of northern Colorado. We have a timeout a year ago from Michigan State has replaced him at that left defensive tackle spot on a second and four. Here's Anderson again, out to the 40, to the 44-yard line, first down. Bob Young through the big block. But, Tom, I've never seen a rookie make any more impressive debut than this guy. Boy, look at the acceleration. He sort of shifted gears at about the line of scrimmage. You're behind now. Let's just watch together. Here's the fake inside to the tight end. Inside handoff. Number 32. I think Jimmy Brown wore that number. Watch right here where he just decides to put it on. Boy, Brody can't handle him. We understand, you know, Stalls was hurt earlier. The Cowboys had another player hurt in this game, Larry Brinson. Slight shoulder separation. He's the backup fullback to Robert Newhouse. On a first down, Morris. And Morris, very resourceful effort just to avoid a long loss on that play as he gets across the 45 to the 46-yard line. Tough 100, running. 174 carries by Wayne Gary last year without a fumble. And notice how steady he is. Now, Larry Cole finally is the one that makes the tackle. And Cole is working on Deardorff. Harvey Martin all the way from his defensive end spot in on the play, too. Well, Anderson's going to come out of the ball game as there's a final. Miami, boy, they had a tough time against Buffalo. They have a long string of victories over the Bills. Chuck Knox has the Bills going, though. They're going to be tough from now on. Second down, seven from the 47-yard line. As mentioned, Anderson has come out of the ball game. Hart on a delay. Gives off Willard Harrell. And Harold close to the midfield strike. Harold's very good on that delay, and he'll come back out now as Anderson comes back onto the football field. I imagine the Cowboys glad to see him out of there. Well, you know, I, I didn't realize that, and not having played defense for a few years, what it really means. I asked somebody about the Cardinal offensive line. They said, who's running behind it? Uh -huh. Right away, it makes a difference if, you know, if you can handle a blocker on a slow back, you can still make the tackle. But with a guy like Anderson or Dorsett, you make a mistake and you're off balance and the guy goes right by you. Makes a difference. Look at the third down conversions. They now have a third and four, just short of the 50-yard line. 12-17 to go, third quarter. Gray, Tilly, the wide receivers. Bruce Thornton has checked in at the defensive end for Dallas. He's the rookie from Illinois. Far side, Morris had double coverage on him. Further up the field, Gray and Hart just kind of had to lay back and get rid of that one. The old frequency, watch as Hegman and Harris had Wayne Morris covered rather easily. And Dallas played the percentages, and they knew what the play was. Minnesota now leading San Francisco. Both those teams with shaky preseasons, but the Vikings are the lead, and Philadelphia now in the fourth quarter. Boy, Harold Carmichael continuing his string in that game. Looked like Jaworski having a great first half for Philadelphia. And the Eagle defense extremely nasty. Here's a little big rush. He just got that underway. Big rush was put on that time. Back deep. Wade Manning. Manning is hit immediately. Good coverage that time. Coming down on the play was Roy Green, who was a fourth round draft pick out of Henderson State. Just walking around on a Sunday afternoon, just cruising. Boy, what a job he has done in his second year, 62 years of age. From the 18-yard line, Dallas with a football, with a three-point lead. 
In motion comes Pearson. This is Ron Springs, the rookie. And he gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about all. Good reaction by Bob Pollard and Ken Green. And Pollard, who was elected defensive co-captain this week for St. Louis, what an acquisition he's been from the Saints. Pollard gets married tomorrow. He's flying right out of here to New Orleans and getting married. And I would have a tendency to protect myself at all times if I was getting married tomorrow. Let my bride play if need be. Tape her up. Second down 10. When you played, you didn't protect yourself out there. Eleven and a half minutes to go in this third <laughs> quarter. Here's Staubach on the second and ten. Good protection. And the pass by Cosby. Did he catch it or not? Doug Cosby, they're saying that it was trapped. It was not a completion. He trapped the football at the 26-yard line. And Cosby, who's six foot six, 230 pounds, he doesn't agree. Well, he's a pretty confident young man, though. Maybe he was in the law school at Santa Clara. But watch this. The ball does look like it's a little low. And Rodgers made a couple of throws that were just thrown downhill, which is not like him. And we certainly couldn't tell from this vantage point, but I know the officials uh, you know, had their eye examination much later than I've had mine. Preston Pearson has now come in on a third and ten, and that's according to all scouting reports. He's always in there on third down passing situations. From the 18-yard line, Staubach, good pressure put on. Awesome. He got away. Pollard giving chase. Staubach throwing through Pearson. And Pearson is dropped by Ken Stone, and Staubach has, like a magician, averted disaster and turned it into a big gainer. All right, watch the rush now. Dawson is the one that almost gets a hand on him. Watch this defensive rush. 73. Working. Finally comes through. Now watch the throw. Pollard is in the wake. Now on third downs last year, Roger Staubach had seven of his touchdown passes. Very dangerous in third down shotgun territory. Look at this, number 88. Just like Landry drew on the board that way. Kenny Stone finally gets in on the tackle. You know how hard it is to throw a pass running to your right like that and have something on it? Yes. Dawson almost had him, but he did not have him in control. That new rule, of course, wouldn't have been in effect. As Stomach with a good mobility, a 41-yard gain on that play. Here's Newhouse. Newhouse to the 35-33. And so Staubach has turned this game around right now with that outstanding scrambling effort. Tim Carney made the tackle, and Houston has finally overhauled Washington, trailing throughout this football game. Some young running back named Campbell scored on a three-yard run, and it's 29-27 now, Houston leading, and they've come from the other side of the Great Divide to get close. Second down, two for Dallas from the 33. Ten and a half minutes to go, third quarter, 10 to 7. It's really humid, isn't it? It must be hot down on that plane surface, huh? It's got to be. It was 80 degrees at kickoff time. Relative humidity was 60%, and it's probably climbing. There's a little inside reverse to Saudi, the tight end, and he doesn't get anything. Roger Worley came over there and really cut the legs out from under it. Well, if you want to teach a young person how to be a defensive back, it would be watch number 22, watch Worley. He doesn't go for the fakes, going across field, and all the receivers are running left to right. He comes right up and even saved his shoulder. Watch how Worley does not use his shoulder, which I don't recommend. I, I say if you go ahead and use the shoulder and lock the arms, you'll never get an injury. This time, Rogers sort of throws his body and sideways. You might get a rib that way hurt. He's playing with that knee. Third and two, they gain nothing. We understand that Carl Allen, the defensive back for the Cardinals, suffered a concussion. He will not return. And Perry Smith has replaced him now at left cornerback. Play action, Staubach on a third and two. Wide open, Saldi. Perry Smith makes the tackle, but it's a first down. You had no longer gotten Smith in the game, so he's a little bit cold and probably a little reticent anyway. And Roger goes right there. Watch the fake by Roger. Watch this. I, you don't see him overact like this much. He really turns his back to that defensive linebacker. Now just sort of dumps it. It's like, I got gotcha. you. Well, Saldi was the guy that broke his arm last year, and he's just a real hard-nosed football player. Looking diagonally across. Look how Roger hit, hit the ball from the people that he's trying to fool. Mixing them up and really showing an intricate offense. First down now from the 28-yard line. That's Dupree in motion. A little mishandled snap. Here's Tony Hill. Hill, he's down to the 20. Hill to the 15-yard line. And that'll be another first down. 
And that big 41-yard pass completion is looking mighty big right now in this game as Dallas moving the ball effectively. Tim Carney with the tackle on Hill. And the poor cornerback from Colorado State, Perry Smith, has only been in there about 20 seconds, and he can feel the pressure around his throat. Watch Cooper, the young tackle, get out and make a good block right there for Dallas. And here comes Tony Hill. Better call the emergency squad, boy, when these teams through there. They have the Irish connection up there in Donovan, Fitzgerald, Rafferty, and Cooper. Irish descent, and they were out running ahead of them, weren't they? First down for the 14-yard line. They laugh a lot. Here's Newhouse. He's hit immediately by Green, gets away from him, and then at the 10-yard line, he's dropped by Steve Neal. He just ran out of the arms of Ken Green that time, the strong safety, who came up, stepped up there, but couldn't stop him. And Dallas is moving the football just outside the 10. It'll be second down and six yards to go. Newhouse, 68 yards now on 10 carries. Third down play, though. Third down. The best team on third down plays in the National Football League, the Dallas Cowboys. That's the reason they've been in five Super Bowls. So on a second down here, they have six yards to go. Here's Stavik. He's got Dupree. Dupree one-on-one. -on -one, knocked out of bounds by Worley. Worley never did get him off his feet. And coming over there, his forward progress is going to be marked outside the five at the six-yard line. It's just a short out by the tight end. See, Dupree just being allowed to be pushed right out in the flat. Biggest set of hands this side of I don't know where. I've never seen a set any bigger than... BJ's. Boy, and he works hard at it. It's third down two. Three tight ends now in. Dallas has used that formation on these short yardage situations. Third and two from the six. Outside, seven minutes remaining now in this third quarter. That's Salvi jumping outside. Ron Springs. Got it. Great reaction by Bob Pollard who stepped in and they jammed that one up and they're going to have to settle for a field goal. Last two times that Ron Springs ran with the ball. I didn't think he really struck it in there. Watch this. He almost goes in too high and doesn't really lower that shoulder and try to get what he can. That's a very dangerous way to run inside. Well, look at that gang tackling, would you, Tom? They've got a lot of white shirts there. Yeah, but turn that shoulder under. If you're a young running back, you can't run this high up in there because they're not big wide holes in this league. Seption now is going to attempt a 24-yard field goal. Carano will hold. He's already hit one from 38 yards. That coming in the first quarter. Septian's kick is on the way. He got it. And so Dallas comes away with three points. They have a 13-7 lead with 6 19 for 15th. That's on a Saturday. And at 3.30 Eastern time, immediately before that is Project SOS. That's Needham and that great vehicle of his, right? On the desert. 1,000 parts, I understand, in that machine. All handmade. And here they come out with Roy Green running the football, and Green breaks it all the way out to the 33-yard line. That play almost broke for the distance. Dennis Thurman dropped him a 32-yard return. And St. Louis down 13 to 7. Have the football and San Francisco. You know, Bill Walt said we're going to be under wraps until we start the regular season, and they're scoring some points in that game. San Francisco, it's uh, Elliott on a 40 yard run. It's now 22 21 49ers. And I've always thought that Walsh was one of the great offensive coaches anywhere in football. They say he's a college. genius at throwing the football. From the 34 yard line, first down. Chandler jumps into the tight end spot. Hart giving off to O.J. Anderson, and he's just taking people with him. Across the 40, the 42, the ball is loose, but it's been blown dead. Wow, wow. Bruning dropped it. What a great play, though, the defense made on that third down. So now a touchdown, and the Cardinals can still go back ahead. Uh, the extra field goal really was, a, I think, an advantage for the guys in the red uniforms right now, especially when you got a young back, number 32, who doesn't know you can get hurt. Well, this defense of St. Louis really came together late last year. They allowed only 113 points the last eight games after really giving up a lot of points in the early going. Second down to Anderson now over the 100-yard mark. Tommy has 106 yards already. A little trouble this time, but somehow he makes maybe... Well, he got back to the line of scrimmage. Well, Randy White hit him. Randy White went right in there and, and took the poor back that was faking. It was Wayne Morris that really took a shot. And it looks to me like Dallas is a little bit 
nasty and ornery on defense now. They're all out there sort of punching the palm of their hand. They do not like the way this game is going. Bob Young trying to block Randy Why That is some chore. Third down, two yards to go, no gain or loss on that last play. There they are, that forward wall. Oh, There's boy. 64-54 hike. <laughs> On a third down, Hart's going to try to get it to the airways. He's looking to Mel Gray. Gray is fast. He's mad. He's got a chance, but good defense by Penny Barnes, and Gray didn't like it. He is uh, asking for some help down there. Great position by number 31, though. He made it to where Gray had to go over his body to get the ball, and the defensive players allowed to do that. I, th I thought Benny Barnes really pulls it off. Watch number 31 now. Just turn. Now, he's okay. He's trying for it, too, right? Good pass protection, though. Watch Young and Brahaney and company go after Randy White and Harvey Martin. Good bit of blocking there. And loaded up and on its way, the projectile almost found its mark. You're looking at 51. Brahaney was in the hospital this week with a staph infection on his elbow. But he's played well. Little has not kicked the ball well, however. But he's going to get a roll. Wade Manning at the 23 and to the 25-yard line. And Kurt Allerman loses his helmet. That was a 35-yard kick. And at the 25-yard line, Dallas will have the football with a 13-7 lead. Terry Bender along with Tom Brookshire. We have 4.33 left in the third quarter. From the 25-yard line, the Cowboys have the football. They have a 13-7 lead. I'm loosening my tie and taking it off. This is going to be a rough third and fourth period left. You know that? You already rolled your sleeves up. I know, and I'm ready. Tony Hill goes in motion. Stomach near side. Drew Pearson. Roger Worley coming up, but not until we complete it to the 31. Here's the final score. It's 29-27. Nobody thought that, obviously, the Redskins would give up 29 points or score 27. That's quite an unusual score. You know, we mentioned Tom Brahaney playing center, and the reason he's had to go all the way is Tom Banks, who is not really dressed for the game, doesn't have his shoulder pads on, has had a terrible contusion of his thigh. Well, he's a great offensive player, too. He's had trouble with it hemorrhaging on him, and he's been in the hospital in and out, and they don't know when he's going to be back. Second and four from the 31. Here's Solly again. Stavak on a quick counter to Newhouse, and Newhouse is going to get some additional help. They grabbed him by the face mask. So they'll tack on some yardage, and that will give Dallas a first down. Pretty good defensive uh, move on the ball, too. The linebackers came through, and I thought that the big fellow on the nose, Charlie Davis, straightened it up in good shape. It's, you can't grab that face mask, though. Again, all these are protection rules that have been put in to keep the players safe, and that's, that's very important. Right now, St. Louis has Keith Simons in there also. They've been alternating. One of the things that Bud Wilkinson wanted to do, Tom, was get equal people in that three-man front. He could rest his others. Face mask, number 70, defense, first down. And that is Simons, who I just mentioned. But most of the rules are made uh, so that the defense can't do anything. <laughs> really, so that the offense can score more points. Everybody thinks that they want to see more scoring. I guess that's true. Well, when you played, they just knew that they had to protect you a little bit, so they changed it after that, right? The ball was around when I played. <laughs> first down 10 from the 40. Stavak on the first down. Protection, excellent. And incomplete. Depending on the play was Eric Williams, 55. The intended receiver was Ron Springs at the 45. A big game between Atlanta and New Orleans today, and they are going after each other, aren't they? Francis, a 21-yard pass from Bartkowski, and it's 31-27. There's another one. New Orleans had a big lead early. You know, it's pointed out that the NFL wanted more offense, and Tom, if this first week is any indication, they're getting it. Well, now, wait a minute. <laughs> well, that's, that's, it's snowing in Chicago, you're going to tell me, right? Two feet of snow at Soldier Field. Boy, you made me look bad there. Second down, 10 from the 40. <laughs> They're allowed to hold in that game. 4.20 to go, third quarter. Stop back on the play action. Coming back to the near side to Doug Cosby. It's loose. Who's got it? Picking it up is Roger Worley. Worley got it in St. Louis with a major opportunity. Doug Cosby with the catch, but the rookie somehow didn't hang on to it. I'll tell you, the Cardinals have the hitters now. Watch Roger fake and come back to the right of your screen. 
and lay a perfect pass on. From left to right, that's Cosby, the young rookie. And here he doesn't get the ball put away. I believe that was Kenny Stone, the Vanderbilt safety man. They didn't watch Worley make the quick move. Beats Tony Hill to the ball. The rookie coughs it up, and the veteran, Roger Worley, comes up with it. And he has come up with 18 fumble recoveries in his career, which is a cardinal record. And Jimmy Hart loves to get a turnover. So from the 32-yard line, the Cardinals will try to capitalize. They trail 13 to 7. Jim Hart looking. Mel Gray's open. Gray to the 20. One-on-one -on, -one on the far side, and he's going to be wrestled out. One-on-one. -on -one. Excellent play by Aaron Kyle, or Gray would have taken it in. Incredible move. Now watch this. Here's a fellow we told you that's at least a 9-5 man. Drives you off straight. A ball is thrown early. And watch Kyle realizing, all right, I'll give up the completion. i got to be careful with this dude. Boy, that is a scary situation for a cornerback, huh? I'll tell you, that was really a cleaned-off pass, too. Jimmy Hart really threw that ball. From the 18, a first down. Now for the Cardinals. They have a chance to go on top in this game. They trail 13-7 to as Chandler jumps into the tight end spot. Gray to the bottom of the screen this time. Hart back protection is excellent. Throwing. Pat Tilly, touchdown! And we're all tied up. Pat Tilly, who last year caught 62 passes, comes up with the first touchdown catch of 1979 for himself. But that's as good a pass blocking job as the offensive line has ever done. They kept Randy White and Martin out. Watch the left part of your screen now. You want to see some effort. Just watch. 64. Brahaney, 51. That's Steve, 68. Deardorff. Look at this time. That's about a six-second pattern, a perfect throw. And Tilly, of course, beats Kyle just by this much. Pat Tilly with the great hands. As now Mike Wood attempting the point after. And for the first time in this game, the Cardinals. Can you imagine Ron Frazier, a rookie, though, and Landry has started him in this game and allowed him to run back kickoffs in this game? I don't think even Ohio State Stadium has had this much noise at this point. Little with another fine kick. He's done a job today. Here comes Manning. Manning to the 15. Look out, and he's out to the 19, and what a hit. Manning annihilated on the far side as that was Ken Green, also Roy Green over there after a 16-yard return. And the Cardinals are fired up. Well, the ball's in Dallas's court now. You've got a good offense? Show us, because we just took the lead. And again, Jimmy Hart has been one of the great quarterbacks at taking your mistake and getting on the board very quickly. Been pointed out to us that one, and look at that drive, 32 yards on the fumble recovery by Worley. We pointed out to us one of the outstanding special teams player for the Cardinals. John Bearfield is not in the lineup. He has suffered a slight concussion, and he won't be back. So the hitting has been something here today. On the 18-yard line, first down, Saudi in motion. Quick pitch, Ron Springs. Springs having footing problems, and St. Louis is fired up. That's quite apparent, isn't it? That's Carney that makes the big tackle, number 56. It looks to me like Dallas is using a lot of different fronts and sets now. Good blocking there by Donovan. Looks to me like Springs is feeling his way a little bit right now. He just slipped that time, sort of looking for somewhere else to go. The question is, would Landry bring in Dorsett? Springs, 9 for 14, and now in a seesaw affair. Is that final now? It is. Minnesota defeated San Francisco 28 to 22 in a nip and tuck game. Sammy White recovered a fumble for a touchdown. All right, here comes Ron Springs trying to go wide on a second down and 10, and nothing developing is Tim Carney, number 56. He is playing like he's obsessed. He's telling Starbuck, I want some more of that. He says, I want some of you, I guess. He looked like he was challenging everybody. Well, you he, know, Tim has had some problems with his temper, but he's gotten it under control this year. Well, they, they used to say he was wacky, but the one thing he does is really hit people. He used to hit before the play and after the play a lot. Now he's hitting during the play. Look at this tackle. Third down and nine. Starbuck from the shotgun will try somehow to get the Cowboys moving. On the third down and nine, the shotgun, good protection. He throws Preston Pearson, and he caught it. He would have had a first down, but he couldn't hang on. And you do not see Preston Pearson do that very often. Ball was surely catchable. And, of course, he just doesn't miss him. Pretty much self-explanatory. 
He had 47 right catches through. a year ago. That's not indicative of what Dallas usually does. Now they're usually just over 50%. Look at this. He says, I threw it right in there. Coach, you want me to throw it and catch it? So now Landry's looking for Pearson. <laughs> Danny White, as you look at Willard Harrell standing back at the 35-yard line. There's his average, 41 yards, a fine kick. Fair catch is called for by Harrell, and he's got it at the 41-yard line. A 40-yard kick by Danny White, and the roar is deafening here at Bush Memorial Stadium. As the Cardinals with that one-point lead, they have the football from the 41. I thought it was rather interesting that on the sidelines, on the Dallas sidelines, that there's a great debate about whether Roger threw the ball correctly or not over there. And it's not that uh, all teams don't have these problems, but of all the teams I've ever seen with a lot of superstars, Landry's managed to keep all the egos at a pretty decent level, better than any coach at, of all time. And you can see Pearson and Staubach discussing that last play. Anderson and Morris now from the 41-yard line of first down. 2-11 to go, third quarter. Hard on first down, pumps once. He's got Tilly almost intercepted by Aaron Kyle. Boy, was that close, and Kyle almost had one. He wouldn't have been able to run with it, but he had had the interception. All right, here's the young man that caught the TD pass, turns it in, comes about. Look at Kyle, though, the number one draft pick from Wyoming. You just can't play any better than that. In another Eastern Division battle, we have a final. The Giants and Eagles, and the Eagles won it, but not easily. Giants playing good defense, as always. The Giants play the Cardinals next week in New York. Second down, 10 from the 41 and a half yard line. 2.07 remaining in this third quarter, 14-13 St. Louis. This is Wayne Morris, and Morris has Brunig all over him. And he's gonna pick up two yards at best. And Dallas with that good reaction defense that time, particularly Bob Brunig, a man shaken up on the play now for St. Louis. You know that we haven't had a call yet for Harvey Martin, number 79. That's Terry Steve that's getting up three sacks two years ago, 16 last year, and they said he was coming back healthy and a new Harvey Martin. He wanted to regain his stature. Joe Bostic has replaced Steve. He's the third-round draft pick, a rookie out of Clemson. They like him, but obviously he doesn't have a lot of experience. Third down and eight. Hart is hit as he tries to throw it. Bubble guess. It's an incomplete pass. There for a moment, picking up the ball was Dennis Thurman. You thought that ball might be live, but it was ruled an incomplete pass. Who is it that makes the move? Henderson? It's the, yep, it's Hollywood Henderson. I believe the arm was going forward, but the ball wasn't on the hand. That's going to be a pretty close call. I don't, you know, I believe that the right arm went through, but the ball was already gone. <laughs> How did he Henderson. get through there so quickly? He's like a... A reptile. He came right by Brahaney. Brahaney never even saw him. He played in the Pro Bowl in 1978, and Henderson wants to return. Back deep goes Wayne Manning, as to kick the ball will be Little again. Steve Little. No rush put on this time. He didn't hit it well. Off the side of his foot, he's getting a roll, though, and it's going to roll out at the 20-yard line. And so Dallas will have the football there after a 36-yard kick by Steve Little. In a game that, well, it's just had a little bit of everything. I want to remind you something that's going to have a little bit of everything, and that's pose the outstanding stuntman. I can't even, from the 20. I can't even start my car in the morning. He's got a 780 miles an hour he gets. <laughs> wonder what his gas mileage is. <laughs> Here is Newhouse trying to go wide, and he has five, six, seven yards. Robert Newhouse, Pat Donovan threw a big block, number 67 for Dallas, and that gave Newhouse the running room. So did Young Springs. Watch number 20 to the right of your screen now. The rookie of Ohio State gets out in front, and he and Donovan together sort of team up. Don't do a bad job out there. Cardinals are falling like Redwood. Ken Stone getting a shoulder into him. Pick up of six, and the Jets in his late starting game leading Cleveland three to nothing. Leahy, Leahy's 34-yard field goal. There's Tom Landry on a second down and three. He does even for Spire. This is Ron Springs. He's got some running room and a first down as he's out to the 33-yard line. Bob Pollard made the stop. 
And Ron Springs being welcoming into the National Football League. He has been indoctrinated in a hurry in a real rivalry here today. Good job by Fitzgerald, the offensive center, who, by the way, is healthy, completely healthy for the first time in a long time. And when he is, the big Irishman from up uh, in Massachusetts is really a fine football player, the offensive center. We understand the injury to T Terry Steve, not all that serious. He had the wind knocked out of him. He will be back when the Cardinals get the football. 30 seconds to go in this third quarter. From the 33, a first down. Staubach to Newhouse. Newhouse, a lot of congestion to the 35-yard line. Keith Simons, number 70, seeing a lot of action. He's been in there quite a bit now in place of Charlie Davis at that nose tackle spot. I wonder how young Jim Cooper, number 61, is ferrying at right tackle. That was Rayfield Wrights for years, and then young Frederick was in there, and now young Cooper, who's really sort of a free agent. Well, you know, they thought that Rayfield Wright would be 100%, but he's had the knee trouble. Barra, the former Dallas kicker, a 34-yard field goal for that. Patera field goal. Boy, Tom, this last 15 minutes could be something, huh? From the 35-yard line, second and eight for Dallas. Stabak back to throw. Protection is there over the middle. And he hit the big tight end, Cosby, and he's seen a lot of action in this game. Boy, I mean that Pollard, number 82, really, the Cardinals really came on defense this time. Watch the right part of your screen. They're getting running starts, and Rafferty and Fitzgerald and and young Cooper, they're hanging in there, telling you there's some shots being laid on each other. Don't take your helmet off this afternoon. Had some people out of this game with the concussions. John Fairfield for one. And now from the 46-yard line, it's a first down. Just underway in the fourth quarter. The last eight meetings, these two teams have won four each. However, Dallas won both of them last year, and Dallas is trying to win their 15th straight opening day game. Here's Ron Springs trying to go wide. Mark Arneson's over there. But he breaks it forward and gets to the 49-yard line. Good effort. He could have lost four and ends up getting about one back, I think. Arneson has the ball carrier, Springs, dead to rights. Watch this. Fake inside off the eye. And now we're going to belly and go a little bit deeper and try to get outside with it. Arneson is waiting. This is the reason linebackers come back to camp just for moments like this, and this time it gets away. Springs did a good job. Pollard finally does it, huh? Second down eight. Mike Dawson has come out of the lineup. John Zook has replaced him, a defensive right end. Here's Stomach. He wants to throw it. Steps up. Newhouse intended receiver. Roger Worley around the ball again, and he has been around the ball all afternoon long. That's going to bring up a third and eight. Pretty quick move by Roger. He is, by the way, over 200 yards for the 45th time in his career. He's 16 of 26, 224 today. But they pay off on touchdowns, right? He needs some points right now. But that stat is not going to make Tom Landry happy. Four for 10 on third downs, and they come to another one. Preston Pearson is in. This is third and long, too. He's got darn near eight. Roger Starbuck, pressure put on. He releases the ball to Drew Pearson. And Pearson makes a sliding catch at the 30-yard line. First down. He was hit hard as he released the ball, but a 21-yard pass completion. Well, I said I thought the last three balls he threw against Pittsburgh were as clean as I've ever seen Roger throw the ball. But this is one of the great passes, I'm sure, that he'll say. The snap by Fitzgerald, the blind snap from the shot. Go watch this throw. A little bit of heat breathing on his back. You don't even see it. And I'm telling you, it's low and a fastball. And number 88 just slides under. Roy Green right there, but too late. He has lost nothing. Oh, what a great throw that was. Pearson now has five catches for 99 yards. First down from the 30-yard line. Ron Springs, he's wanted to throw. He's a left-hander. Wide open. Tony Hill. Touchdown. I didn't know that Springs was left-handed, and I'm not sure that St. Louis knew that. Maybe he isn't. All I know, he threw a pretty good spiral, and he did what you should do on running passes like that. He threw it early. He didn't allow the defense time to recover and perhaps come over and knock it away. Look at Tony Hill. That's the last person he thought he was going to get a ball from. Here it is from the eye, spread out left. Takes a couple of good steps. Now watch him. He's going to project this, baby, and throw it. Rafferty gives him a little time. 
Not a bad spiral. Tom Landry may have called a pretty good play. You think? Yeah, Stone was cut. Unemotional guy, but seemingly always able to arise to the occasion. And now with a 19-14 lead, Toronto having trouble with the snap. Eric Williams is after him, and that ball's in a bunch of white jerseys. So the point after goes awry, and it's a 19-14 game at the 12-35 mark. And you don't think it isn't tough for 79 yards. The U.S. Open following here, it'll be Jimmy Connors and Bruce Manson if that match continues. As we'll be joining Pat Summerall and Tony Trabert as back deep, Roy Green and Willard Harrell. And everybody's buzzing about that touchdown pass by Spring. Uh, it's very important, though, that they miss the extra point. And now St. Louis has a chance. If they get good run back, they can get back in this like nothing. Good back kick. Deep is Harold, and he's not going to bring it out. Septian got into that one. He got it all, didn't he? Boy, that coach loves that. No run backs. Just drop it on the 20. We'll start from there. Super kick. Let's check now that offensive line for St. Louis. Let's see if Steve is going to come back into the lineup. As I mentioned earlier, the Cardinals concerned about the backup depth. They traded Roger Finney to New Orleans, who was a backup of a year ago, and Steve is back. He will continue at the right guard for the Cardinals. And Mullins left and just went home, didn't he? So yeah. they didn't have any backup. He was playing well, too. He's a local boy from St. Louis after giving up football for a while, went back. The Giants lost him to the Cardinals. From the 20-yard line, St. Louis trailing 19 to 14. Jim Hart throwing a lot on first down. Somehow gets rid of this and tender for Gray. A real good example, though, of the way I think that there's a fairness in the league nobody gives the credit for. Randy White that time locked horns with Bob Young and then made a late run at Roger at uh, Jimmy Hart on the play. And he got there late, and he grabbed the quarterback and didn't hit him and held him. And we never get a chance to show that because people think everybody's really trying to kill everybody else. And I think that good, good sportsmanship should be shown once in a while. Let's see if Sandy Grossman, our director, happens to have that. Watch number to the right of your screen. Watch 54 now. Go around. And he'll come in and hold the quarterback up and not hit him right there. That's class. And that brings up a second and 10 from the 20-yard line. A give to Wayne Morris, and Morris gets back to the line of scrimmage. Harvey Martin made sure of that. He stubbed that one very well. The guy was the NFC Defensive Player of the Year in 77. Guess who was in 78? His partner, Randy White. Well, they got the co-MVP in Super Bowl. Uh, um, my numbers are running together. What Super Bowl was it in New Orleans we did? That was 12, I think. And they, they split a Corvette. Each of them took a couple of doors and a fender and split it. Or whatever the car was. The <laughs> Third down, 10 from the 20-yard line. I don't think they could get in there, they're big. 11.46 left in this game. Chandler into the tight end spot. We haven't seen a lot of Anderson here lately. Here's Hart back again. Over the middle, here's Wayne Morris. That's a first down. And Morris all the way out to the 38-yard line. Aaron Kyle cut him down, but Wayne Morris went airborne on that play. Good job by the other receivers. The other receivers took everybody deep, including Hollywood Henderson, and then they turned back and made some blocks and allowed uh, Morris in to sort of get a little bit of running room right in here. They've turned on their secondary people and are screening them off. Good effort by Morris. And a big play for St. Louis as they keep this drive going. First down now at the 38-yard line. Hart wants to throw again. Throw to Chandler. Chandler is going to catch it and move it to the 44-yard line. Henderson making a stop. And Chandler doing quite a job today. Guess what? The Cowboys safety blitz that time. And Jimmy Hart and company were ready for it. They handled and picked up the blitz. And they made the completion. On the near sideline, that's John Bearfield. We mentioned he suffered a concussion in this game. And they're taking him out on a stretcher. I'm sure as a precautionary method. And Bearfield, who's looked so good, the second-year man out of Texas A&I, I'm just going to get him out of here. And Los Angeles now leading Oakland. What a shootout that should be. Wendell Tyler, a one-yard touchdown run. Los Angeles draws first blood. Second and five from the 43-yard line. Hard on a play action, fake to Anderson. Gets some time to throw, and Pat Tilly can't hang on. A little behind him. 
Martin was shaken up a little bit, wasn't he? He's bending over. He watched the ball go, and I think Harvey Martin might have run by him and accidentally, and I mean that, sort of belted him and knocked the wind out. They weren't on the ground, and I think Hart was watching the ball probably go, and that's when quarterbacks really get hurt is when they're sort of watching the ball go toward the target and they relax a little bit. Well, he's got a third down coming up, third and five. Quickly now, before the play, they get out of the huddle. Here's the fake. Jimmy goes up. He doesn't throw a great pass here. It's Bethea putting some pressure on it. It's Bethea that comes through, 76, huh? So the, the third and five now from the 43. The Cardinals, eight of 13 on third downs. Hard to try again, looking for somebody to clear. That's Steve. Did he get it? No, incomplete. Boy, he tried to put that ball in between two defenders. <laughs> Benny Barnes was glued on his back, too. Number 31 got away with it again. He's running right in the shadow with the intended receiver and made it. And there's Bearfield being taken off the field. Well, I hope he's all right. Wade Manning now goes back for this anticipated punt from Steve Little. Part of this game is 10 of 23 now for 91 yards. But he has thrown two touchdown passes. This little's got to relax and just start stroking it. I've watched him warm it up. He can kick it out of sight. This one hit very high, but not very long. Manning with a fair catch at the 28-yard line. The Dallas with a good field position, and that was only a 30-yard kick that time by Little. Wait a minute, we've got a flag. As we mentioned, there was a flag just before we left you, and the penalty was against Thomas Henderson for illegal use of the hands. So now the Cowboys, instead of having the football to 28, going to be back on the 18-yard line. This man, Tom Landry, would like to have uh, the offense sort of consume some time, sit on it for five or six minutes, and uh, I think St. Louis lost a golden opportunity. That drive uh, should not have sputtered as badly as that. they got to work their problems out. Well, they've gone away from O.J. Anderson, haven't they? Well, I don't think he knows the pass routes probably as well, and Jimmy's having to throw the ball a lot harder. So from the 18-yard line, the Cowboys with a 19 to 14 lead. Stabek off to Newhouse. Look at Newhouse, just kind of wind his way around out to the 24-yard line. Steve Neal's eventually dropped him. Here's Carney now getting a shot at Newhouse. He loves to hit anything, but sometimes what you see is not what you get. <laughs> Look at Carney. He is so mad. I, what do I have to do, he says. <laughs> Gain of six, second and four. Hope that's not a penalty when you pound your fist against the ground. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Springs, Newhouse, the running backs. Pearson. And Hill, the wide receivers, Newhouse again, and oh, as he hit and drilled back, that's Eric Williams, and now Williams is going to get a flag. Evidently a little bit too aggressive on that tackle, and that's going to hurt St. Louis because that would have brought up a third down instead, 15 well, yards. Well, you know, you can't, uh, you can't yell obscene things either. He might have said something. But my goodness, I can't believe that you can no longer first talk to your opposition. Number 55, defense, first down. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's what it was. That is a no-no. Yeah. That's talking with your hands. But how many fingers do I have? That, that was not a very good play at that time. A good tackle, you should just walk away and say, hey, nice, and help the guy up because you did the job. You won it without that. They call him Eric the Red out of USC. That is the sixth penalty against the Cardinals for a total of 50 yards. From the 41, first down. Stavik, got time to throw. Tony Hill, I guess the intended receiver, but looked like he may have slipped and had fallen down trying to get over there. Boy, they really double-teamed Steve Neal's on that play. He came blitzing from that left-hand side, and they took him out of there. Hey, that Cardinal defense has played extremely well today. Roger, uh, while very effective, there are not a lot of options open. He's had to work for it. Stavok, 17 of 28, 241 yards in this game. Dawson has come out. John Zook replaces him. Newhouse just told Springs what to do that time. The rookie has lined up right behind him. Now they split. Second and ten. This is Saldi again in motion. Staubach counters with Springs, and Springs 
spins out of the grass to Bob Rozier and then Charlie Davis over there. Here's the great thing that the 34 can give you. If the linebackers move into the hole and move up and don't get scraped up, they can be very effective and make a lot of tackles. Third down six, and we have eight minutes now left in this game. The Cowboys with a 19 to 14 lead. They led early in this game, 10 to nothing. There was 10 to seven, and then 14, 13, the Cardinals. Large third down conversion here, though. Third and again about seven. Preston Pearson has come back in on this passing situation. Staubach, the blitz is on. Giving chase is Lee Nelson. It's caught. A catch by Preston Pearson for the first down. Again, Staubach has averted everything the Cardinals can throw at him. And what can you say about a catch by Pearson who dropped one earlier that hit him right in the hands? Watch this. A great throw. Lee Nelson is covering and very well the corner. Now watch this catch. And somehow the feet, yeah, you're right, they're inside. Here's the rush. The Cardinals now getting a little bit desperate. They send everybody but Bud and Tommy Bettison himself, Tommy Bettis, Yankowski, rolled him over. An 11-yard completion, two big scrambling plays in this game. One for 41 yards, this one for 11, keeping the drive going. First down at the St. Louis 46-yard line. Staubach again. Perry Smith had that played very well, defending against Tony Hill. Well, it's little things like that, Tom, and it's one, two plays a quarterback can make that makes the difference on going all the way to the Super Bowl. It's also the penalty that you got after a great defensive play. When you get a silly penalty, it keeps the Dallas drive alive. They would have been third and long back there. The score out west, San Diego leading Seattle. Two teams are on their way up the ladder. Williams with a two-yard touchdown run, and it's the Chargers under Coriel, 7-3. Dupree replaces Cosby at tight end. Second and 10 now from the 46-yard line. Staubach to Springs. Springs is going to get across the 45, inside the 45, to the 44-yard line. There's the young rookie back, an example of running outside the hole. He was supposed to cut back inside, and that time he ran off and got uh, sort of mugged by three fellows that uh, nobody could help him or protect him from because he ran outside of it. So on a third down again, they're going to send in Lee Nelson and Roy Green. Third and eight. Mike Dawson also coming in as Eric Williams, Tim Carney, and Steve Neals come out of the lineup. The Cardinals are going to have to make their stand here pretty quick. Where's Preston Pearson? Is he out there? He's out there. He's split at the bottom of your screen. You've got to put a beeper on him so they can follow him. Stomach on the third and eight. He's going to Pearson, and he didn't get him. Roy Green had covered him well, and it's a fourth down coming up. And Roger is mad. He dropped his, he dropped his elbow and threw a bad ball, the worst ball that Starbuck's thrown today. Well, he hasn't thrown very many of them. He just drops his shoulder under. This is from the shotgun. He gets a little pressure. He can feel it. He just, for some reason, threw a, a flutter ball. That was an old knuckler that did a little dipsy do. You can see he didn't like that one at all. Willard Harrell will go back now, standing at the 10-yard line. Danny White to kick. We still have six minutes and 42 seconds left in this game. 19 to 14, Dallas with the lead. A typical St. Louis Dallas shootout. Boy, these teams, they've really gone after each other. St. Louis very much improved this year, though. They're healthy, and I think Bud Wilkinson uh, has an outstanding football team. I think Dallas is going to have to call a timeout. Yes, they are. They've got a mix up somewhere on this punting team, so they will use the timeout. Stopping the clock was 642. Well, you know, the last time there's a delay a game. They didn't get it off in time. Five yards. Delay offense. That'll move it back to the 49. We started to say the last time the Cowboys lost their first opening game of their preseason or regular season opener was in 64, and that was St. Louis. In St. Louis. 16 to 6. That's when they had a guy by the name of Charlie Johnson at quarterback. My heavens, I played against him. It's fourth and 13. Danny White will try to nail it. Going for the coffin corner on the far side. Harrell is going to let it hit. Cardinals almost oh. running into that ball over there. Great kick. We have a flag thrown. A 44-yard kick on that play as Roy Green and Lott were over there. They didn't know where that football was. 
happened. Nobody made contact. It's a contact game. What could this infraction be? I don't know. Maybe. That was Henderson down there, and making the block on him was Roy Green. We have no foul. Illegal touching. Uh, Ill illegal touching. No foul. I'm glad that they called that off. Uh, I mean, I know if you eat garlic, you don't want to breathe in the huddle, but illegal touching I've never heard of. Let's stick to From the seven-yard line, first down for the Cardinals. Six and a half minutes left in this game. There's Hart on the first down. He's thrown a lot on first down. Pat Tilly is down here. And we have a interception by Aaron Kyle, who's getting up and running with the ball. Kyle coming to the 20-yard line, to the 17-yard line. Now, there's an interesting play there. Tilly tripped over Aaron Kyle. They're going to rule the ball dead where he hit the ground. They're going to call the interception good, though. And there was some contact, but both players were going for the football. And please... Remember that the defensive back has a right to catch that ball, too, when it's in the air. And I'll tell you, Kyle has made, Kyle has made two sensational plays today, and this is one of them. A great play, and the ball was beautifully thrown, not overthrown. It might have hung up a little bit. It'll be brought back and touched down, but uh, Dallas does have possession, which is very important. Aaron Kyle with two interceptions, one of those coming back in the second quarter, and last year he had four, so he already has half as many as the entire 1978 campaign. That moves it to the 48-yard line of Dallas. Did Tilly have to wait for that a little bit? I, I think he did. Did he? But as you pointed out, even though Tilly tripped on him, they were both going for the football. Here's Tabak giving off to Ron Springs, and Springs across the 50, just inside to the St. Louis 49 and a half. Let's check some scores, Tom. The Jets, well, they're still leading Cleveland 10 to 7. Robinson, a one-yard run for the Jets, 10 to 7, New York. Robinson did play today. We had heard he might have hurt himself. We heard the, that he hurt his wrist opening his hotel room door. And L.A. leading Oakland 14 to nothing. Boy, what a game. They early in the preseason played, and Los Angeles won that one. Pat Hayden to Miller, a 17-yard TD. Here's Newhouse on a second and seven to the Cardinal 45-yard line, and the Cardinal defense, Tom, has been out there a lot this last, oh, I'd say 10 minutes of play. They've got to get a turnover now. It's turnover time with five and a half minutes left. Uh, there's Tim Carney getting up very slowly. Newhouse now has 94 yards in this game on 16 carries. We'll find out the time of possession of the two teams and see if Dallas is beginning to eat up that clock, as we always say. Carney has come out of the ball game. Preston Pearson has come in for Dallas. Third down, two yards to go. Staubach looking this way. Drew Pearson. Boy, and Rogers really upset at himself. Dropped the uh, elbow under again and threw another flutter ball. Looked like Phil Necro. Watch him. He hurries to throw. He wants to hit the out man. Tony Hill was covered, so he decides to hit the sixth route coming across the middle. He just flat over through Pearson. Well, he got to hand it to this St. Louis defense, don't you? They've been very, very gritty in this game as Willard Harrell, 39, goes back for the punt. Danny White will be kicking from the 40-yard line. Inside, just inside, five minutes remaining in this game. Looks like they're going to put a rush on. No, not too big a rush. Danny White hits it very high. Fair catch is called for by Harrell, and he makes it at the 13-yard line. And there was no illegal touching. And so with a legal touch, when Atlanta and New Orleans get together, they have some photo finishes. Look at that now. 34 all. There's O.J. Anderson. We haven't seen him carry the ball in a long time in this game. A brilliant first half. First down now from the 13, and here he comes. And Anderson able to hammer it out to the 18-yard line. Randy White making the stop. And exchanges unpleasantries with the young running back from the University of Miami. Look at this move in here. That's the little second-place move that separates the average running backs from the other ones now. Randy White gave him a little extra shove there, and looks like O.J. said something about, hello, Mr. White, or something. <laughs> hello, Big Randy. One thing about Anderson, 
Diggs not afraid to stick it in there. Here comes Wayne Morris. He's close to a first down. Now they're going back to their running game. They had deserted that for a while. Let's see what happens to Bruning, the middle linebacker, number 53. He stays in there. Boy, a good block put on him by number 68, Steve, who was in and out of the game with an injury. You go in there and root out that middle linebacker, you really have to be a tough dude, I'll tell you. Well, they may measure here to see if he got the first down. They're looking along the far side. On two carries, they almost got it, and they have. They're going to bring the chains in. Let's see, they got Buffet and White at the tackles. They got Larry Cole and Harvey Martin at the ends. Linebackers look to be uh, Runick, Didi, and Henderson, the starters. And, of course, Charlie Waters is back home watching. That's going to be a tough year for Charlie Waters not being able to play, huh? you got to believe that. There's 68, Terry Steve, out of Wisconsin, a fourth-year man. He was acquired in that Conrad Dober trade with New Orleans. He came over along with Bob Pollard, exchanged for Dobler and Ike Harris. And his disposition's a lot better than Conrad's, right? Four minutes left in this game. First down from the 24-yard line. This is Anderson again. 30, he may go. Anderson may go. He's for the 30, the 25. He's going to break it all the way. Touchdown. Oh, he gets the spike it now. 76 yards by O.J. Anderson. And you wonder why they weren't running him earlier. Well, they ran him that time right outside Harvey Martin. And Workman took Harvey Martin inside. And I think that O.J. Anderson outran two or three people. Harris got in behind him and had no chance. Now watch the right part of your screen. There's White. There's Harvey Martin getting taken down. From now on, it's a race. Get the stopwatch out. This one's over. Oh. Boy, I, you can just... He has 187 yards already on 19 carries. He may be over 200 yards, a record held by John David Crow. The kick by Mike Wood is up, and it is good. And the win the football game. So the defense, who's been very gritty in this third and fourth quarter, will be called upon again. Ron Springs, Wade Manning back deep. This guy has exploded. O.J. Anderson onto the NFL scene. Here's Wade Manning. Manning may go. Look out. Ken Green is over there, and he knocks him out of bounds. And another rookie has put on quite a show as he's all the way to the 47-yard line of St. Louis. And here's the young Ohio State baseball player. Nobody seemed to want him in baseball, so he thought he'd give a shot to the Cowboys because they give any athlete that wants one a walk-on or anything a chance. Incredible run back. 48-yard return is all. And now this crowd chanting defense, and Tom, we played a whole season here today. We've seen it all. I'm going to have to get a better tape job before the next one. From the 47, first down for Dallas, down by two points. 3.33 left in the game. Stavak on first down. has got time. Throws complete. The catch made by Tony Hill. No, Springs. Correction. Ron Springs making that grab. That will be to the 41-yard line. And Seattle now falls in the rears. 10 to 3. Two very fine offenses. And Kansas City's leading Baltimore 7 to nothing. And we've got to keep in mind that Septian only last week got into this same situation and kicked it as time ran out. So you're not doing something for the first time. Exactly right. He kicked 147 yards against Pittsburgh. Second down. Three yards to go. Robert Newhouse trying to go wide. He's got the first down. He's almost to the 30-yard line. Make it the 32. How did it get out of there? I think Springs must have gotten a good block for him. And it looked to me like Eric Williams thought he has him. Watch the left part and see what we can pick up here. There's Newhouse doesn't look too fancy, but I'll tell you, he's hiding behind Springs, who does seal off a couple of people. You know, for a guy that's only 5'10", he gets those legs pumping, doesn't he? Well, I'll tell you, he first guy to practice, the last guy to leave. And look at that. He's over 100 yards today. Kind of did it quietly, didn't he? First down now. The 32, Dallas is coming right back. And this is the typical Dallas team you see. What poise they have. 
Roger Staubach gives the new house again, and he's tripped wow. up, or he might have gone quite a ways as Tim Carney got it. And it looks like Newhouse is hurt. Boy, that's tough. Boy, hitting right on the kneecap. Obviously, Carney was just trying to throw himself in front of the ball carrier and dead. Robert Newhouse, who last year suffered that broken bone in his right leg and now sustaining an injury. This is the action. The proper medical people are on the field to see. There is the rolling linebacker who gets anything he can. That's Carney. Boy, he's hurt right away. He holds the ball to make sure that there's no fumble. Scott laid And in overtime, the first of 79, and wouldn't you guess it, Atlanta, New Orleans. Last year, Atlanta, on last second, Big Ben plays, pulled him out. And now Chicago has won it over Green Bay, 6-3 to three in Soldiers Field. Wouldn't it be something if Erksleben settled that New Orleans game with about a 55-yarder indoors? Boy. Boy, what action we've had in the NFC. Second down five now. Stabuk is 19 of 33, 262 yards in this game. Two minutes, 26 seconds remaining. The Cowboys trail by two, 21 to 19. Doug Cosby has come in at tight end. That's him in motion. Here's Stabuk. Pass complete to Tony Hill. One on one. Harry Smith trips oh. him up, but he just couldn't get him to go down. He goes to the 20, and that'll be a first down. I've never seen such pursuit by the Cardinals in my life. That time they they rally around. It looks like they're going to hold Tony to absolutely nothing. Here's the fake. They're all over Roger too. I watch this bunch start racing toward number 80. If he knew what was going on behind him, maybe he wouldn't even run. But he stays on his feet and doesn't even go down. Boy, we've had a lot of one-on-one -on -one isolations out there, haven't we, where the backs had to make those stops or at least slow them up. First down at the 20-yard line. The field goal would give the Cowboys the lead, but they're going for six now. We're approaching the two-minute warning. Here's a give to Scott Laidlaw. He goes nowhere. Laidlaw with his first carry, and you can see that defense is tough. Charlie Davis led the charge from the nose tackle spot, and now the two-minute warning is here. Oh. Two minutes to tell the fortunes of this game may rest on number one's toe before this is all over. You know, if you're a kicker, you got to hope that your team scores so you don't have to go out there under all these pressurized conditions. Uh, you can't like having to stroke that thing and win it all the time, but this young man's good at it. There's Bud Wilkinson. This team lost last year in overtime to the Cowboys right here in Bush Stadium. There's Rudy Feldman next to him as assistant there. Second and 10 from the 20. The Cowboys haven't given up thoughts for a touchdown, however. Two minutes left in this game. Here's Dabak throwing caution to the wind, spreading out. He's going to run it, and he is going to be knocked out of bounds at the 12-yard line by Steve Neals. Well, he's, he's only something. about two yards short of that first down. He's something. A tenth-round draft choice, a future taken by Dallas. Went to the Navy. Never shirked anything. Look at this. He's had over 2,000 yards rushing, so you know he's a good runner. He's also had separated shoulders and the normal injuries from it. But a big game situation. Number 12 gives you just darn near everything he's got. We understand that Newhouse suffered a sprained or twisted ankle. He will not return to the action. So they're down to one fullback with a minute 54 left. It's a lot of time. There you see what they have facing them. And now Starbuck calls timeout. First down, you got to be in a position to use the fourth down to kick from there. That's probably what the Dallas thought was. Now, let's don't be too silly. Just get an easy first down. We got to make sure we get the first down. What a football game this has been. And immediately following the U.S. Open, we'll be switching there for live coverage. Third down, a yard to go. Here's Saldi. Starbuck to Laidlaw. And Laidlaw diving for it. I don't know. Very hard to tell from here. Laidlaw and Springs were moving around. It looked like some kind of an adagio dance. They, neither one knew exactly where to line up on the shift, and it was sort of a strange-looking shift. They did get down and hold so they didn't get penalized. Is that Calvin Hill's old number, the 35? It, That's right. Look, Calvin used to go up and over a lot. Now they've got a fourth down, Tom, and here comes Septian. They're not going to waste any, take any chances, I should say, or are they? Up here comes Carano in. Fourth down. They didn't get it. And pressure on number one, Septian. And remember last week, 
Worley blocked a kick, and I believe that Allen blocked one earlier in preseason, so St. Louis has a defensive chance to stop it. 28-yard attempt by Septian. Carano to hold. He mishandled the point after. The snap, the kick is on the way by Septian. It's good. Septian has hit it for hit. 28 yards, and I think it hit the it upright. It hit the it? upright on the inside left and bounced to the right, but it did go through. That was a billiard shot. Remember, he did it last week to Pittsburgh. Here's the high snap. Toronto gets it down. It's got to be a good hold. Now watch this and see if it hits the bar on the left. It did. And then through the boomerang. Oh, hello there. You saw Perry Smith just flailing at the ground after he saw it go through. Well, they all count, don't they? That's like putting uh, your deed on the hard eight line in Las Vegas and rolling it and hitting it. So the field goal of 28 yards, the second of the day. For and Mel Gray. And a guy by the name of Anderson. What a start to this 1979 season. Stepped in, hits it very well again. He has really kicked off well. Harrell will bring it out. Harrell out to the 20, out to the 25-yard line. And that's where the Cardinals will set up shop with 1-12 left, a last-ditch effort in a game that just emotionally, I think, is draining everyone. What are, what are Jim Hart's uh, statistics right now? Do you know? We'll catch him here in a minute. At the 25-yard line, that's where he'll set it up. Our director, Sandy Grossman, our producer, Bob Stinner, an excellent job, men. Thank you. And a game that, boy, it has really had a lot to cover. This one isn't over yet. That's right. Hard in this game, Tom. 10 of 24. 91 yards. Boy, that's good pass, Steve, as you hold him to 91 yards. Two interceptions, two touchdowns, and now the pressure on him. Stepping up, and he's hit. The ball will be incomplete. That was Larry Cole, 63, who reached in and just kind of plucked that ball out of his grasp. Was it, or was it Harvey Martin coming around the bend? Let's see, on the replay. It's Larry Cole. He always saves the big plays, doesn't he, till the last. Second and 10, a minute seven still left in the game. The Cardinals have tried to somehow pull this upset. They came in here about five one underdogs and now down by one. Second down 10 from the 25. Hart with Randy White giving chase. Here's Wayne Morris. Morris is to the 30, 33, 34 yard line. That's a couple of yards short of the first down and St. Louis asks for a timeout. They have two remaining. Larry Bender, we have 58 seconds left in this game. A third and two for the Cardinals from their own 33-yard line. They've used the first of three timeouts. They trail by one, 22 to 21. Tilly and Gray, the wide receivers. Morris, Anderson, the running backs behind Jim Hart. Hart gives off to Anderson, and Anderson falls forward for the first down. And are they going to use another timeout? They are. They use their second timeout, and that took only four seconds left. And only one timeout. Obviously, Dallas will keep everybody in bounds if they can. But that doesn't mean you can't complete a ball and get the guy out of bounds. And I would expect Mel Gray to get a call here and maybe look for a deep interference call even. They bring in another defensive back. Aaron Mitchell came in. Larry Bethea checked out from the 37-yard line of first down. Hart back to throw. Protection is very good. Throwing up the middle, and Theodos Brown, or O.J. Anderson, correction, had a crack at that pass, as did Al Chandler. Right over the middle. Getting up kind of slowly back there is Thomas Henderson. Good protection. Uh, Randy White went by like a, a train in the night. They just did block him and take him beyond the pattern so that Hart had time. Again, here's, yeah, here's the field goal kicker, but again, I think a good play in this situation, and this is just personal opinion, would be throw the ball on a long shake-and-go pattern to Mel Gray and look for interference down the end. They have to stop the clock, and I'll tell you, in order to cover him, you've got to almost interfere with him. Gray is split to the top of the screen, Tilly to the bottom. 
Second down, 10. Hart, 11 of 27 now for 99 yards. It's been a long time. He has not been in triple figures in passing. Flag on the play. Hart throwing far side. There's Gray. Can't get to it. Randy Hughes over there, along with Aaron Mitchell. But what's the flag all about? Five-yard offside, Dallas. Looks like Keith Wartman's having trouble with the helmet. He's taking his off. He's running to the near side, asking for another one. <laughs> Harvey Martin's been beaten on that one. That one may be destroyed. He didn't like that one either. George Collins threw one to him. Tom Banks is offering his to him. With a five-yard penalty, moves it across the 40 to the 42-yard line. Let's listen. Number 63, defense, offside. That's Larry Cole. Now with 43 seconds. Getting a little closer down the... Same call. Field. You got the play. Say second and five. Go down the sidelines and hit 85 as deep as you can. Wayne Morris in motion. Anderson. Oh, boy, they were ready for him that time. Randy White made sure of that. That may have been the play they broke earlier. Taking the lead in this game with 1.16 left on a 28-yard field goal. Pretty close, huh? Can't get much closer <laughs> than that. <laughs> Not a very good call, the last running play. Uh, that's, you know, you, you really are praying for a rookie to carry the whole team on one blast to get you. The guys that tackled him were the most valuable players, Harvey Martin and Randy White. You don't block them all day and uh, run over the top of it. Los Angeles, well, that lead of 14-0 now has been whittled down to 14-10. Jim Hart on a third and three from the 44-yard line. You see the time remaining. And Aaron Mitchell, the young, aggressive left cornerback, is going to be on Mel Gray again. Mitchell will hit you. Sometimes illegally, which you've got to play for. Jim Hart on the third and three. Protection good again. Throwing. This is Tilly. He's got it. Tilly breaks loose. He's to the 42. They have no timeouts remaining. They've got to huddle up and get going. Dennis Thurman made the stop. They have a first down. And the defense has to move quickly, too. And now they, he'll bring his arm down. Now it's going. 15 seconds left in the game. Hard again. He's got to kill the clock. Far side. He throws it away. And with nine seconds left. Well, they never said it would be easy, and neither one of these teams are going to forget this game very quickly. Aaron Mitchell and Randy Hughes, defending on that last play. Tom Landry talking things over as Willard Harrell now comes in, replacing Otis Anderson at running back. But what do you do now? Well, on, on defense, you got to make sure you keep keep everything in front of you. Bud Walker said he's not showing any pressure either. This, I still would have to go to Gray with it, but Tilly looked good on the last reception, didn't he? On a second down, I should say first down 10. Here comes Hart throwing Mel Gray. Can't get it. That was the right idea, I guess, as both Aaron Mitchell and Randy Hughes over there defending on it. They have given Gray a tough time today. It's an awfully tough pattern, though, for both the catcher. He makes him run a post corner instead of just flying up the sidelines. And that's Mike Wood, that's, uh, that's uh, Randy Hughes that's covering him there. You know, they're going to bring in Wood now. This is going to be a Herculean effort by him. He's standing at about the 50-yard line. And he's kicked only one official field goal for the St. Louis Cardinals. He's now, he good. had six field goals of 50 or more yards in college. But as I told you, he's kicked only one, and that was in the preseason, 39 yards.